auxiliary lines. An auxiliary line is a line needed in a diagram to help solve a problem. So if you look at the diagram below, we're given the fact that L is parallel to M, and we have to find the measure of angle A. Now, until now, we've been working with two parallel lines cut by one transversal, and we can use um, our corresponding angles postulate, our alternate interior angles theorem, alternate exterior angles theorem, and consecutive interior angles theorem to find congruent and supplementary angles. But the problem is, in the diagram we're given, we have two parallel lines with two transversals. And none of those theorems or postulates can apply when we have two transversals. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a third line at the intersection of the two transversals. Then it kind of splits the problem into two parallel lines with this transversal and then another two parallel lines with this transversal. Now we can apply the postulate and theorems that we've discussed. So let's work out a couple example problems using an auxiliary line to find missing angle measures. So in problem one, we are given that L is parallel to M and we have to find the measure of angle A. So again, we see these two transversals, so we can't apply the postulate and theorems we know. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a third line that is parallel to the ones that we already have. Now, let's go ahead and look at this top half. When you look at these two parallel lines cut by this transversal, this angle of 47 degrees right here, and then this angle, part of the angle A we're looking for, these are alternate interior angles. And the alternate interior angles theorem tells us that when we have two parallel lines, that they are congruent. So this part of angle A is 47 degrees. Now likewise, we can look at this bottom part of the problem, these two parallel lines cut by a transversal, and this angle marked 133 degrees, and then this bottom portion of the measure of angle A, these are consecutive interior angles. And consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So when we take 180 and subtract 133, we're left with 47. So that means that this bottom portion of the measure of angle A also happens to be 47 degrees. So now, when we want to look at the entire measure of angle A, we just need to add the two parts, which just happen to be congruent in this problem. So when you take 47 plus 47, that gives us a total of 94. So the measure of angle A is equal to 94 degrees. Now take a look at problem number two. Again, we're given the fact that line L is parallel to line M, and we have to find the measure of angle A. Now the diagram is slightly different than the one in example one, but I want you to go ahead and pause, give this problem a try, and then when you're done, check back with me and see how you did. So in problem two, hopefully you started off by drawing yourself an auxiliary line. Then you should have recognized that in the top portion with line L, 162 degrees. That angle is corresponding with the upper portion of angle A. So since they are corresponding angles, they're congruent. So that means this top portion of angle A measures 162 degrees. Now, when you look at the bottom portion, with line M, this could have been done in a few different ways, but uh, the angle measuring 58 degrees, that also corresponds with this angle right here. Now, even though that angle isn't part of the angle A we're looking for, we still need it to help us find that last piece. So once we make those two congruent because they are also corresponding angles, then I have a linear pair with that angle measuring 58 degrees in the bottom portion of the measure of angle A. So since they're a linear pair, they're supplementary. So when we take 180 and subtract 58 degrees, this bottom portion of the measure of angle A is 122 degrees. So then to get the total measure of angle A, we just need to add the top portion, 
162 degrees, and the bottom portion, 122 degrees. So when we add those together, we get 284. So hopefully, you found that the measure of angle A is equal to 284. Now that's it for the notes. Um, in class, we're going to do a lot more practice with this.